Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Store exclusive Brickheads Wonder Woman. Now, this was a build event that if you spent $75 or more at the LEGO Store at the start of July 2017, and you were a VIP, you were entered into this basic uh, building event that was adults only, 18 plus, which was kind of weird. And my build event was today, so I had to go back to LEGO Store and build this, and they gave me all the pieces for free, which is really cool. But the design for this, this is going to be kind of a quick review because it, it doesn't really impress me. If you see, it's based off the comic book Wonder Woman, which we've gotten a brickhead for that design before, and that it's, is this one right on the left, which this was a Comic-Con exclusive brickhead. Now, I haven't reviewed this one yet, but uh, I did get this last year because I, I'm trying to get all the brickheads. I just kind of like the brickhead design. It's like Funko Pop, but better in a billion ways because if the fad does die, we just take them apart and use them as Lego pieces. Now, the problem with this new one right here on the right is that there's no new printed pieces. And now, I know they wanted to keep these prints exclusive to the Comic-Con version. I mean, that makes sense because a lot of people fork over hundreds of dollars to buy these Comic-Con exclusive sets. But you couldn't really make an exclusive printed tile or something, uh, you know, to illustrate the Wonder Woman logo at the chest. I mean, this new one has a better build for the hair by far, in my opinion. I, I love all the curves they got on there there's lots it's just a really fluffy cool design i never really liked the hair on this original one but this is more of the classic wonder woman look um so i kind of understand why it's a little bit uh, how it looks right now because that's kind of how she was designed uh, but either way it's just lacking all those cool prints like the little bracelet and uh, this little headband up top and actually to illustrate the star up top they just use this little uh, tile this one by one tile kind of tilted a bit um, like a diamond so that i could get that feel but it just doesn't work out for me for in my opinion i mean this is kind of just a waste of an event i don't know why they really did it because you got the wonder woman from the comics in here um in this comic con exclusive set if you really wanted to get it but in january we're getting one for the justice league for the dceu so why make this one maybe make a character that was more obscure maybe a different version of wonder woman or something that's exclusive to the comics but you end up just using this one right here that looks way too similar to the comic con one and there's no exclusive prints, so it looks totally out of place once you put it on display. I mean, it doesn't even come with like a Brickheads 2x4. They didn't even use the ones that said, you know, Series 1 or whatever on uh, the first wave. They could have easily put that in because that is a print that exists. Sorry, Wonder Woman. It would have looked so much better. So, really don't like this building event. I think it was kind of a waste. I mean, I do like that I got free Lego, of course, but I think... They should, if they're going to do more of these AFWL only building events, these 18 plus building events, if you have to spend $75 or more, make something a little bit more interesting. But that's it for now, and the last thing I'll show is the instructions. So the instructions aren't even the glossy kind of free build events from Toys R Us that they usually do, but rather a couple of papers just stapled. Um, there are double-sided prints, but uh, yeah, this is so cheap in my opinion. I mean, I know it's a free build, but come on, they couldn't even do the glossy paper. They don't even give you a bag to take the pieces home or anything like that. As in, you know, like the ones that they would do at Toys R Us. So, I don't know. I, I don't really like how LEGO did this event. It just kind of seems like a waste, and it seems pretty cheap in my opinion. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.